Welcome to the bat room. We're now with Ben Folks. Welcome along. What was your first bat? Can you remember it? Um, the first bat was a um, SS Turbo. Um, I think because I, I used to borrow my brothers, um, but we were only little, so I think I had like a size four or something trying to play men's cricket. Um, so, so one of the guys gave me an SS Turbo that had been in the cupboard for 10 years. So I could try and hit it a bit further because they were a bit bored of watching me hit it and not hit it off the square, basically. Did you cherish it? Um, not at all. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was really bad with kit back then. Um, I, I had, yeah, just chuck, chucked in the cupboard, used when I needed it, but yeah, not, not good with kit. What are you like now with kit, though? Because you've got two sets of kit. You're keeping kit, which is obviously yeah. important, and you're batting kit. Yeah, I'm, I'm the like typical keeper being very messy and like no one wants to change anywhere near me sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I, I think maybe once you get given quite a lot you're not quite as you should be with it. So yeah, I, I have kit everywhere, not in great state when people pull out my inners and they smell them, they want to run a mile and that sort of thing. What do you look for in a bat? Um, I think for me, um, the, the pickup's quite a big thing, so not, not too heavy. Um, I think when, especially when you're facing fast bowling, to, to have a bat you feel like you can actually grip well and um, you're in control of the bat, whereas like, I find when it's too heavy sometimes, the bat just gets out in front of you a bit and mm -hmm. you don't have that 100% control. Um, so just, just making sure it's the, the right sort of weight. So what have you got there? I mean, this is quite a significant bat because you use that in Sri Lanka, Test 100 yeah. and all that. Yeah. How long have you had it? Um, I think I just pulled it out for Sri Lanka. Actually. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Because um, I had that month off leading up to it, so I was just kind of scraping together kit to get out there quickly. Um, but yeah, the, these, are, these are lovely bats to be fair. I think the, the way they make them now, they don't press them too much, but they, they absolutely paint. How heavy is it? Uh, I think they're 29. You don't weigh them, um, is it all about feel? Is it? I, I just ask for whatever and they write 29 on there, so I believe them basically. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just have that. I think it might, might be a little bit mental. Just uh, if it said two eleven on there, I'd probably think, oh, I can't pick that up, even if it was the same bat. So yeah, okay. um, just that mental thing of yeah, I can I can deal with that. Do you mind about the grain? How many grain? And it's got sort of a darker wood down. Well, what would be your inside edge? Do you yeah. like that? Um, yeah, I think I think when you first see them, you just think that oh, looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, and and the lads kind of when you got the two tone, you're like, oh, I got a two tone. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but um, you kind of show off it at that. I think like some of the best bats I've had have had probably four grains on. Um, really? Yeah, it, it varies massively. These ones obviously look beautiful at the start, but I think it just matters like the specific wood rather than the grain, um, and they can ping either way. Now this is what you keep a messy, <laughs> these new grains. I actually, I actually just sorted this out. Kind of, <laughs> you sorted that out? It was up here somewhere. That's so, terrible. I know. Um, yeah, I'm not too fast. I don't actually think there's much grip on it anymore. So. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm to be fair, really bad um, like that. I could easily nick off from there. Well, that's a good point, with, with that sort of thing. That's so. just where well, you need to get it refaced or refurbished. Yeah, I do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot I need to do. Do you um, knock them in? No, nah, not at all. Um, I think a lot of the time if I get a new bat, I like to use it in white ball cricket um, straight away. Just yeah, new bats and white ball cricket go really well. Do they? Um, yeah, massively. Because I, I have no idea why. Um, but just it just seems like new ball, new white ball just pings off them more. You know when you talk about the feel of the pickup, do you tap a ball on it? And what are you looking for if you were to tap it up now? Is it the size of the I, I the size of the middle or the ping? Of yeah, the middle? I, th I think generally th one thing I quite like is when they're a little bit thicker up here. So like they may not pick up as well in people's view, um, opinions, but when they're a little bit thicker, it seems like the whole bat is a middle. Whereas when you see them really like uh -huh. out here. It seems like you've got to really nail it. Um, but I, I see people kind of like giving yeah. a kiss and like <laughs> working out the sounds, and like, like you, you do not know what you're talking about. Um, so I'm not one of them at all. I know you were scrabbling around a little bit for kit to go out to Sri Lanka, but when Thorpey went out to Sri Lanka a couple of times, he got them kookaburra in those days to make a bat with a lower middle because yeah. of the lower bounce. Did that ever come into your head or thinking, or was it just no, this um, is the amount of use, the same as I'd use at the Oval? Nah, yeah, no, I was, I was just kind of thinking, get out there, like trying to hit some balls. I was more worried about that, um, so I wasn't too worried about the bat. But I think that's, I don't know, what would you say? Third, probably, probably not actually. That no, I was so thought you would make it down here. It looked like really? a hockey stick. Yeah, um, I, th I don't know. I think I'm probably just not that. Not that fast. Yeah, <laughs> interested in getting it right. To okay, well here's a one from the relics. That's one of mine, which I actually used in a test match in 2001. So look at the difference. Could you back with that? No, not at all. 
Well, you must have been a hell of a player. I was rubbish. <laughs> Hence why I was rubbish, perhaps. Um, why, why, why do you not like the look and the feel of that straight away? Because you picked it up before we started filming with it. Yeah, I, th- I think um, just the fact that it's dead straight and the edge is just the whole way down is dead straight. Um, whereas now you see, obviously, the little bit of the bow kind of around where the middle is, you've got such a big, thick edge that often you can get a thick edge and it goes for four. Four suit. Um, not for me, but <laughs> um, it, it, I don't know, it just, as you look down it, it feels like you're playing beach cricket or something more than <laughs> professional cricket. So, um, yeah, I, I just couldn't get my hand, uh, head around doing well with that. I mean, the size, you mentioned the size, the edges there are like that and yours is like that in the middle. Have you, yeah. Are you compliant? Uh, these are, yeah. Um, have you always been compliant? Yeah, no, I have. Um, <laughs> but a couple, of, a couple of, I don't know if you've seen the Grainicles bats that have got the scoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like added bits and stuff. So I had to get a scalpel to them and shave them down. So a lot of my bats have got just cut out bits everywhere. Um, so they don't look great, but they, they ping, so um, yeah. Go and get it cleaned up. Yeah. Oh, thank oh, you for talking to us.